All right, so this figure is going to show you a nice little story of how cells were discovered. And we'll start here with Robert Hooke. He was looking, uh, he was looking at Cork and he found or he kind of discovered cells. Uh, eventually, Robert Brown, he's the first person to kind of discover the nuclei of the cells. Then Matthias Schleiden, he discovered that all plants are made of cells. So let's just say he discovered plant cells the first person to see them and the other swan he discovered that the cell is a basic unit of animal structure in other words he's probably the first one who gets to see animal cells uh rural virtual he found out that cells have to come from somewhere so he uh, stated that they have to come from pre-existing cells and the whole point of this is this. This is the most important part of it and what I'm gonna focus on. Uh, it all builds up to the cell theory. So what is the cell theory? It has three postulates and make sure we know them. So cell theory, one, all organisms are made of cells, okay? They're either one cell or more, but they're all made of cells. Two, the cell is the basic unit of life. Let me put this in another way. The cell is the fundamental unit of structure and function. In living things and number three well all cells arise from something from pre-existing cells right so every cell in your body believe it or not was formed by the division of a previously living cell so these are the three main postulates of the cell theory uh, recently or lately some more have popped up however I'm gonna stick to these three 